I came straight home from work to start a few projects. I made that jellied cranberry sauce before and canned it, and I'm down to two jars is all. It only made four jars. So I've got another batch of that boiling, and while I cook that, I'm going to make can some cranberry juice. So I, I just open the bag. These have holes in them, so I run the water through the cranberries right in the bag. I've sorted through them, picked out all the mushy ones, and have put one and three quarter cup of cranberries in each quart jar. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar to each one, top it with boiling water, and then water bath can these. I brought my entire 25 pound bag of pure cane sugar that I got at Azure Standard upstairs just because I knew I'd be going through so much. Plus I need to fill my baking jar. So I have gotten the sugar in all of these. I filled them up with boiling water that I boiled in my hot water kettle. Now I'm just using this tool to get air bubbles out. And then I need to clean the rim. And I've got these filled to about half an inch from the top, from the rim. Cleaning the rim, put a lid on, and I always use four jar lids. I have not had a single one fail yet. Knock on wood. Put a ring on, finger tight, and I'm going to lower these into my water bath counter. I've also got a glug of white vinegar in here just to keep the jars from clouding up. These need to process for a half an hour. Six cups cranberry, six cups water. Boil them till they're soft. Now I'm going to run them through my food mill and then get them back in the pot. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but just spin it around and it'll, the skins will stay in the food mill. It's not going to work with one hand, but the skins stay in with, in the food mill and the rest of it gets pressed through here. Some solids come down, but not very much. It ends up being a real fine puree. That's what's left after running them through the food mill. There's not a whole lot of waste on the skins but we have a huge bowl full of beautiful cranberry puree. I'm gonna measure out six cups of this. I've got three minutes left on the juice that's in the water bath, and I've got my six cups of puree back in the pot and at a light boil. So I'm going to sprinkle a package of pectin over this and stir it in. I've got the pectin stirred in. I'm gonna cook this for five minutes at a boil. All right, this has been sitting for a couple minutes, so I'm okay getting these jars out. We'll put these on a towel on my countertop. When you do cranberry juice this way, with the whole berries in it, it's gonna be three or four weeks before it's ready to be strained for drinking. It just takes a little bit of time to steep. I'm adding some hot water to my water bath because I needed the level to be lower with those quarts, but now I need it back up for the pints. My puree has been boiling for just about five minutes. So what I need to do now is put all five cups of sugar in at once, pre-measured. Stir this in and this needs to come back to a hard boil that cannot be stirred down and we'll hard boil that for one minute before we jar it up and process it in the water bath. Keep stirring until all that sugar is dissolved, then bring it up to a hard boil. We have a hard boil, so I'm gonna set my timer for one minute. See how it continues to boil even though I'm stirring it. And then I've got my jars filled with hot water ready to be filled with our jellied cranberry. All right, I'm going to turn the heat off, timer off. Now we can get our jars filled and then process them. I've got the rims cleaned off with a damp paper towel and I'm just putting the lids and rings on. And we'll get these in the water bath canner. I had a little bit left over so I just put it in a bowl that I'm gonna put in the fridge and have even tonight. These will go for 15 minutes. I need to put the lid on. 
Okay, so six cups of cranberries gets you four pints of jellied cranberry, and seven cups of cranberries makes four quarts of cranberry juice. Now, all of the cranberries that I can tonight, the jelly cranberry and the juice needs to sit for at least 12 hours undisturbed. Then I'll remove the rings and put it in storage downstairs. It's after work the next day, but I did check these this morning, which would have been 12 hours after I finished canning these, but all the lids sealed, four jars, lids, which I've had a 100% success rate so far. I've got the four jars of jellied cranberry sauce, which I absolutely love, and the first time I've ever made cranberry juice. Um, you can see how it's kind of stratified in layers. And these, there's kind of a sugar and water layer down here. And then we have a little bit of tinge of red and then we have the berries on top. After three or four weeks, that will be good and flavored. Just need a little bit of time for it to steep and for the flavors to meld. S adding to my stash of canned goods makes me so happy.